guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. Been putting this off for quite a while, uh, but I've, as we're in lockdown, got nothing else to do. So today is gonna be kind of like a day in the life vlog type thing. Uh, we've got a push workout later. If you're not interested in any of the day in the life or vlog or the workout, um, the supplement time will be here. The workout time will be here. And other than that, let's get into the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah. Look at that. That is not a good start to the day. Oh my god. So we just got breakfast now. We got some scrambled egg, uh, some bowl of almonds. And every day I take three omega 3 fish oils and one mighty vitamin, multi vitamin gummy every day. Uh, I'll put the links for these in the description if you want to check them out. So I've just finished up breakfast now. Uh, probably going to watch a bit of Netflix. Maybe do some work on my new website. Yeah, so talking about my website, I've um, just released it this week. Uh, released two new training programs, a weight loss and a dumbbell only. Both training programs are 35% off. And then you got the, the weight loss one here as well. Full body, abs, nutrition pages, everything you'd need. I wanted to talk about a question that I get asked so much. And it's what kind of supplements should I take and what they do. And just all, all general supplement stuff. But I thought I'd sit down, talk about what supplements I use. Uh, if I'd recommend them, what supplements that I don't take. So the first supplement is protein powder. I don't really know if you can count protein powder as a supplement. I know a lot of people do. But protein powder isn't really a magic formula that's going to give you steroid-like effects. It's not going to make you massive overnight. It is literally protein. Protein you get from chicken, eggs, bacon, sausage, nuts. So if you're going to ask the question of do you need protein? So yes, you, you need protein. You need protein in your diet. But do you need protein shakes? Protein shakes, I use them if because I track my calories. So I use protein if I haven't reached my protein target for the day. So if I've reached my protein target, say 200 grams of protein, I've reached it through chicken and eggs and bacon and nuts and fish and all them protein sources, then I won't use a protein shake. But if it's been a day where I've my, my diet has been a bit... So if there's been a day where my diet has been so if there's been a day where my diet hasn't had as much protein as I need, I might have a scoop of protein, which I think this one has So this one has twenty one grams of protein per scoop. So I'd normally have like maybe one or two scoops depending on how much protein I need in the day. So obviously if I was forty grams if I needed forty grams of my diet for protein, I'd have two scoops of these. But you just got to make sure that they have a full amino acid chain. Uh, you'll find the, the nutrition info and... So you'll find the nutrition info in normally in the descriptions of the products. So a tip that I use for buying protein is I normally aim for a protein that's about 20 to 30 grams. Try and maybe get a protein that's reliable from a trustworthy brand like my protein or Bok powders. They're still pretty cheap. And um, other ones like Optimum Nutrition. And the next one is pre workout. So basically, pre workout is something you take before a workout to give you a bit of a boost. I wouldn't take it every day. So I'd, I normally take it if it's one day where I'm not feeling the best or I've got a bit, I've had a hard day at work or it's a big session like I'm trying to hit a PR or something. And I'll take a scoop of pre workout, just gives me a bit more energized for the session. Other products that I supplement my diet with are multivitamin gummies and omega-3 fish oils. Um, these are really cheap. You can get I get mine again from my protein. They just help make sure you got your vitamins and minerals for the day that you not you can't really get or struggle to get in your diet. So it's just it's an easy way to get them in your diet. And now we got creatine. Creatine's probably the one where people get confused about the most. And I've been using creatine for probably about five, six months now, and I can see the difference, it does help. Um, it's not to say you have to have it, 
like anything in this video, you don't have to have it. it you can get it from other stuff. It's just sometimes it's hard to get the, the ingredients from your diet. So something like creatine in a powder form, you just make sure that you get it in, in the right quantities. So what is creatine? So creatine is a natural supplement normally used to boost athletic performance. So I've done some research, um, like I do with everything that I, when I buy my supplements, and I found a few key benefits. So number one, it helps muscle cells provide more energy. Creatine supplements increase your phosphocreatine stores. It also speeds muscle growth, improves high intensity exercise. In terms of how and when you should take creatine, I personally take it after or before a workout, it just depends, it doesn't really matter when you take it. Some science has linked um, creatine to have more of an effect if you have it with a protein source, so like a protein shake or in a, in a glass of water next to your meal, your post-workout meal. So when you take creatine, you should have a, a week where you kind of increase the levels. So when I was just starting taking creatine, I normally had three scoops of these a day. Um, I'd normally have one in the morning, one in the midday, and then one before I went to bed. Uh, and then that should last about a week. And then after a week, you can just go down back down to one scoop, normally about five grams. So yeah, that was my supplement talk. I did a post about it on Instagram, so if you want to check it out, you can go in the link in the description. Also, if you've got any more questions about supplements, feel free to DM me or email me. My email and Instagram are in the description again. And yeah, I'm about to hit a workout, so... I don't think I'll be using pre-workout today because I'm feeling pretty energised, I had a good night's sleep. So, yeah, let's get into the workout. It's a thriller in a track. Where we from? Baby, don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael Jackson. I could get you satisfaction. And you know we out here every day with it. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot. Yeah, so I'm just on the way home from football now, just hearing them little clips there. Uh, just good to get out, get a bit of exercise in, burn some calories as you can see, very, very tired, very tired. Definitely need to step up my cardio game. But yeah, gonna go home now, um, probably get a protein shake, maybe have a meal, hopefully my mum's cooked something up nice. So after the supplement talk and the gym session, just had some chicken pasta and some broccoli. And yeah, the meal I'll be having now is probably going to be, might have some fish, some cod, and then some pasta and, I don't know, green beans or something. Keep it simple, it's never really much, much complicated stuff, but get the macros in, get the food in. And this is where I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed my first video. And yeah, like I said before, if you've got any video suggestions, leave them down below or leave, DM me, email me, anything. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you in the next one.